as the use of wind energy, in particular wind turbine, to produce electricity in the world is growing. In this video, we will show how to simulate a 9 megawatt wind farm using a detailed model of double fed induction generator driven by a wind turbine. Hi, welcome to the PZ engineering channel, Passion to Excel. Before we start with our simulation, I'd like to request if you're not yet part of our family, please subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. You can as well join our membership team in order to have a special attention in special attention in your comment or in your request and as well to have a guidance in your project. You can as well have access to the specific models when you join our membership team. A quick description of our model, a 9 megawatt wind farm consists of 6 1.5 megawatt wind turbines connected to a 25 kV distribution system exports a power to a 120 kV grid through a 3 kilometers 25 kV feeder. A 2.3 kV 2 mega 2 MVA plant consists of a motor load of 1.68 megawatt induction motor at 0.93 power factor. And the 200 kilowatt resistor load is connected on the same feeder at the bus B25. Both the wind turbine and the motor load have a protection system monitoring voltage, current, and machine speed. The DC link voltage of the of the DFIG is also monitored. Here we have our three-phase programmable voltage, where is 120 kVA or kV kilo voltage, and the phase degree of 60. All this complex, we can get it from the library browser. We have our bus bar. And here we have our three phase VI measurement. Here we have our three phase transformer, two winding. Those are the parameters. Here we have our grounding. Three phase transformer as well to the can go can be to the load. Here we have our line which is two kilometer line, twenty kilometers line. Sorry. Here we have our fault, three phase fault. The parameters. We have another bus bar B twenty five which is 25 kilovolt pass bar. Here we have our plant, 2 MVA plant. We have our induction, our, um, induction, our, our induction motor is 1.68 megawatt asynchronous machines. Those are the parameters. Here we have our load, our three phase series or three phase load. Here we have our three phase breaker. Here we have our three phase, is that? And there we have our three phase transformer, which is connected to the system. Here we have a 10 kilometer line. Here we have another. Three phase transformer. Here we have our load, 500 kilowatt load, three phase load. And here we have our another bus bar, which is 575 volt. And here we have our, our 9 megawatt wind farm. You can get it from the library browser. We have our measurements. Output. There we have our control wind speed, 
which is the wind speed, which is the determined output of our model. That's the parameter for the wind. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel, share our contents, comment and like our videos. Here's our wind protection, Put our protection system, the voltage and the current and the DC voltage. Those are the parameters. Let me just open. Yeah, those are the AC current protection, AC voltage protection, DC voltage protection, and under over speed protection. Those are the measurements, the instant, the AC over current, over AC current, and banal over speed, under speed, DC volt, over voltage, being protected by the system. Here we have our measurement grid and the wind turbine. The one that's feeding for the grid and the, uh, the output from the wind turbine. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment and like this video. Let's run our system to see the behavior of our system. Now let's check our results and to see the behavior of our system. As you can see, we are measuring the AC, the AC voltage current, the power, and the, the active power, the reactive power, the reactive power, the reactive power, and we have our other measurements for the. Now let's go to AC side. The one that goes to the grid, as you can see, we have our voltage, the three phase voltages, the each, the each voltage, the voltage at each phase, we have our power, negative power, the one that is supplied to the grid. As you can see, the results determined by the wind speed or the availability. Now we can go to the DC side, the result that we got from the wind turbine. We have our DC voltage, we have our wind speed, and our parameters from the wind, as you can see. As the same thing I'd say that is the result is determined by the wind speed. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, share our contents, comment, and like this video. You can as well join our membership team and be part of our family. Thank you.